you said that you got the teachers unions, um, the, um, the Department of Education itself, but the third part of that leg I was missing, it's the, it's the organizations that fund the agendas. Are there yes. organizations like left-wing yes. organizations that are shaping the education yes. department agenda? How, These are, how, how is that done? Well, the education department has in their budget to fund the social and emotional learning. They have a significant number in Biden's fiscal year 2023 budget. But that budget, or excuse me, that curriculum has been de developed by a non-government organization. And I'll give you one more example of, of that. A recent study revealed philanthropy's bid to control public school. So equity math was a curriculum that was funded in 2017 through 2020 to, to the tune of $200 million in 70 school districts. And it was funded by none other than Bill and Melinda Gates, Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, the Wallace Foundation, the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, and the Windward Fund. And these are usual suspects. But listen to this. The Gates Foundation, in its uh, you know, explanation of, of, of this equity math, criticized, Lance, the concept of getting the right answer. And I'm quoting it right here. The concept of mathematics being purely objective is unequivocally false. And the idea that there are always right and wrong answers perpetuates objectivity. Well, uh, my listen, think about this. The IRS doesn't have that philosophy when they're calculating your taxes. Uh, the FAA doesn't have that philosophy when it's, it's giving a trajectory for a runway. Absolutely. The uh, hospitals don't do that when it comes to how many stitches you have to put into an artery in order to block it. In other words, I'm surprised that Bill Gates, who is such a aficionado of uh, technology, would say numbers don't matter. What is what? So this is why would they be doing this? I mean, I mean, I got to get my head wrapped around. If I'm at a cocktail party and I corner them, they're not stupid people. They they come off like they're normal and misunderstood. What's the rationale? Is this is this like embedded in a curriculum that has broader agendas and this is part of it? But what's the thinking on their part? It appears to me with the philosophy that I shared that's permeating schools and with this equity math just being one example of da highly damaging curriculum is that they truly do have that Marxist agenda. They don't want the next generation of, you know, everyday people, right? They're looking for a workforce. 